what's up guys welcome back to the channel hope you guys are doing well in today's video we're gonna mess around with the new norwal cannon now i'm thinking i want to try it on a ground vehicle and i want to check out what i need first so let's set up a frame first but before we select our cabin let's take a look at the narwhal real quick because let's see it does hit damage explosion damage it is pretty heavy so i'm probably if i want to use the harpy cabin because i was thinking about using the harpy it has 100% penetration. Okay, let's select the cabin. So I was about to select the cabin, but man, this UI is so cluttered. And this is not even the building menu. If you go to build, you get this small menu over here. So I think what I'm gonna do is go to crafting technology three and just take a look at all the cabins we have in game. Now we could use the cockpit cabin, but I'm thinking we need to get used to the normal a little bit before we start boosting. The harpy cabin is a very, very good choice actually. We could also use maybe the ghost cabin. The ghost cabin could work as well. I don't want to use the whaler yet. Maybe in a separate video. The omnibox cabin actually looks like a real good choice because we get the reload, but the harpy gives us that nice explosion radius, which might benefit us if we use the narwhal. Now I'm thinking the harpy cabin is going to give us a bigger explosion radius. And I'm wondering if the explosion radius is what gives our refrigerant, like to freeze up the targets. If that's the case, that might actually help out a bit. So I think I might make a build with the Harpy Cabin and two Narwhals. For wheels, I'm taking the small buggy wheels because it will help with the oppressor engine's perk. All right, let's check it out. Nice, the turret rotates very smooth. It's still not super fast, but, you know, it's a lot better than default rotation speed. And we get the perk of the oppressor at 40 kilometers per hour. That's nice. So twice as fast. That's nice. I think this is going to be our main setup here. All right. Now we know what we want to work with. So I'm going to put these items over here for now. And we'll put them on our build again later. Now, I, I'm thinking, um, you know, I love my Gazan bumper. So we're going to have to use that. Or no, no, no. Maybe we can use the new plow. Let's try and use some of the new items first. So we're going to try and put the icebreaker. I'm not sure if it's going to work with this build because the way I'm planning to use the cannons. Yeah, I think that's going to be a little bit too high. We'll, we'll, we'll have it here for now, but I don't think we'll be able to use it. Otherwise, we're going to have to use like a smaller one or something. Now, we have a big P1 charge generator that we need to fit in our build. So I'm guessing that's going to sit right there because otherwise, um, yeah, we don't really have another option for that. We also have a massive engine to fit in here. So I'm thinking, let's see if this works out. I'm thinking something maybe along the lines of this. in there oh it needs a cabin so it's so annoying that you cannot build without having a, a cabin mounted there we go there's your cabin so let's see if this fits in there all right that fits now let's take a look at the harpy mounting spot so if we mount the harpy like this yeah, we need a lot more we can may maybe put the plow against the engine like that and then i have the issue of the cannon one cannon is gonna oh, that's so high that's way too high Otherwise, I might have to move this a little bit to the front. And if we could, maybe put the can like somewhere here. Have the icebreaker in front. And then have the other cannon over here in the back. Oh, I just noticed something. We don't have mounting spots all the way in the front of the things. Yeah, look at that. We don't have mounting spots all the way in the front. That sucks. So we're going to have to like mount it like something like this. All right, guys, so this is what I came up with. The bumper in the front takes up a lot of weight, though. 360, 12 hundo, and none another 360. I was not sure what I would have put here because everything is exposed if I don't have this. So at least if I approach from the front, I'll be protected. I got a couple of Stephen Wolf things here and then another, another couple of Hyperborea stuff. Founder parts over there. We still have the heavy freight. I might remove it because we are already overweight if we... Uh, yeah, look at that. We're already overweight. We have a bunch of bumpers in the back, which is also all very heavy. So let's see what we can shave off. We can probably shave off these, this thing here. That's a jewel. Yeah, there we go. So we got our build ready. We're under 10k par score. We got something that looks pretty nice. It's not the best look in the world. I'm not an expert builder, but I think it looks nice. I think we could even have the two guns in the front here. But yeah, we can even have this, but let's ride like this first. 
So let's give it a nice color. I think I'm going to go with Ice Velvet. And we should be good to go. For co-drivers, we're using Grizzly. And I'm assuming if I remove Grizzly, I'm going to be over... Oh, God. Oh, my God. I should not have built with Grizzly. Okay, we're using Grizzly then. So, yeah. So this is the build and the plan for today. Now, you guys just sit back, relax, hit that like button, and enjoy. Oh, wait. You know what, guys? <laughs> I forgot the reload module. So, I don't have room anymore. I think I'm going to put the reload module over here. All right, we got the reload module installed, but now we have a big old gap here in the front and we're overweight again. So we're going to have to fill up this gap with something. And I think I'm just going to have to switch out these frames for light frames. Now, what am I going to put in here? I think I'm going to go back to the mounting bracket just so that our gun is still mounted on something solid. There we go. It's connected to so many points and we need to move it up by one. I think that's fine. Okay, now we got our build ready. A little bit over 10k power score now, but I think it's gonna be fine. Now you guys can sit back, relax, hit that like button and enjoy the video. All right, guys, welcome to the clean island. What the hell was that, bro? Yeah, welcome to the clean island. Let's cool down this target, beautiful. Cool some out pretty nicely. Second shot, deal more damage. Third shot should deal even more damage. Oh, we missed though, unfortunately. Uh, what is that, frosted flakes? Decent shot, not the best. Oh, swag hacker. Oh, hammerfall build is probably going to strip me really quick. Uh, it appears that the frost goes through the Aegis shield. That is interesting. Hold on, boys. We got to get out of here. Here we go. Beautiful. Nice pop. Okay, got to go. That's we need. We need some backup, guys. Come on. That's a bad shot. Let's get swag hacker. He's our kryptonite here. Huh? We're going to cool him down if he's Wait, what's happening to my build. Oh, some weird lag, laggy moment over there. There we go. Decent shot again. Finish off Daniel real quick. Yeah, the reload is... Whoa! The reload would be very nice with a reload um, cabin or something like that. That's why I kind of wanted to use the um, harpy cabin we got behind us. Yeah, Swag Hagger got to go, man. Swag Hagger got to go. Pulling him down for the team. Oh, that was such a bad shot. Oh, my God. There we go, beautiful. We'll focus on Swag Hacker again. There we go. Huh? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> He's using flares. Oh, that's why. There we go, beautiful. Uh oh, I'm too close. Hold on, boy. Dude, this build is. What does he use? He's using a brick with the Aegis shield? Yeah, damn, dude. Yeah, our, our, yeah, we gotta move. Our rotation speed is horrible because we stopped for a second there. Hold on, boy. Okay, he, he fell back. He's pretty hurt. Got Matt in the hat on the bridge line up here. I'm not sure what he's using. Maybe oh, he's probably using the uh, the cryogenic uh, mortars. Yeah, probably. Yep, he dropped out. Let's focus. Focus man in the hat. Alright, so this build is not um, very durable, so that's why I'm playing kind of passively. Not rushing in like a crazy guy. There we go. Beautiful. Got a double frammy. So now our next shot should deal a lot more damage. And if he cools down himself, he should also deal more damage to him. That, yeah, that's nice. okay, cool, cool, cool. I thought it was an enemy build behind me for a second. Enemy shotgun build. There we go, beautiful. I'm gonna try something. <laughs> Someone is heating him up, but I'm Oh shit, I'm out of ammo. Yeah, I guess those two small ammo boxes weren't enough. But it kind of lessened the whole match. I wasted a lot of shots, so... I don't think we need to make any changes to the build yet. Come on, someone hit this guy, please. Just gonna ram him to that. Yep, there we go. Trying to stop the gap, but that's not gonna work. Yep, there we go, finally. Hell yeah. All right, guys, welcome to the Marble Quarry this time. Let's see if we can get some sniping shots in. There we go, three, three, three. That's right, oh, like actually Florence first. Let's get Florence first. I like the, uh, the cooling effect on the enemy builds. I like how they did that. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah can actually see which parts are heated or not heated cooled still gotta get used to that cool no <laughs> saying cool instead of heated okay florence is not dead yet this looks like a world build or um, a whirlwind build oh there we go beautiful now the thing is i need to group up with someone tomorrow is gonna be um i'm gonna stream tomorrow so make sure to join me i was gonna stream on youtube but we got twitch dropped so i'm gonna keep it on twitch and maybe i can run in a group with you guys and I'll use the cryo stuff while you use normal weapons to see what it can do in a team. Because, I mean, doing cryo damage to enemies, but nobody's really shooting them. 
Hold on, this guy's coming for me. I'm dead. Maybe not. I'm out. My ammo boxes are in the back, but no, it kind of worked out there. Uh, there is someone over here that's friendly. So yeah, tomorrow I'll be streaming. Tomorrow I was actually... Oh no, tomorrow I was planning to do the races. You know, the cross-out races. And whoever does really good, I'll give a code for the battle pass. So yeah, okay. <laughs> Not focusing on the match, I was just thinking about tomorrow. So tomorrow is on Twitch, we're gonna do racing. Maybe not all night, but we're gonna try it for a while. What is... Alright, there we go. Oh, very nice! Yeah, so the normals don't deal a ton of damage, but they're pretty satisfied to play, not gonna lie. Alright guys, welcome to the fortress. Oh no, someone's using fuse drones. Hold on, boys. There we go, got a good shot, 500 damage on him. Let's get cross it flakes. There, ooh, uh, a lot of yellow damage. A lot of yellow damage. What's Gaijin using? Oh, never mind. It's out of cover. But Frosted Flakes is over here alone. Hell yeah. Oh my god, I keep popping this guy. Oh yeah, these have 100 percent penetration. I forgot about that. Yeah. There we go, beautiful. Okay, let's uh, fall back. Oh, oh my rear, my front cannon can't really shoot. There we go, beautiful. Come on, space monkey, get him. I got him fully full. Never mind, I'll do it myself. Yeah, dude, dude the narwhals feel good, man. Compared to the um, the Jotun. The Jotuns feel all right. The Jotuns feel like a real support weapon. But the narwhals... Oh, I got to line up myself perfectly here. They're, oh my god, another pop. Oh, crap, this is not good. Hold on, boys. I got to watch out. Oh, we lost a wheel already? Damn, dude. Okay, yeah, dude, we cannot take shots from the right anymore. Got to... Oh, someone's here? Beautiful shot. I, I, I was almost his arm. Oh crap, come on, JB. There we go, beautiful. I mean, he was already burning and stuff. Uh, but I do hear a couple of Gaijin HPs over there. Gaijin was using Starfalls or something. There's one guy over here alone. There we go. Bloody Meadow. I'll finish him off for you. Hold on. Never mind. Good stuff. Another guy. Oh my lord! No, 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 no! Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Gotta watch out for this guy. Man, the hat is using fortune. This guy's dead. Oh no, I'm dead. Ah! No, that was enemy. You son of SSJ, Super Shane Broly. Ah. Oh, he was using the drones. Oh my god. All right, guys. Welcome to the control station this time. We got Adam Bot in the front. Let's cool him down, even though he's heated. This guy's an actual player. I thought he was a bot for a second here. Yeah, I'm just playing and just thinking about stuff I need to test for uh, the future here. <laughs> uh, there's someone here. Far inside. Yeah, these are these are fun to play. The build is not the best, but I did that on purpose. Now, what I mean by that, I could have used Omni Wheels. That would make the build a lot better already. Or maybe the Omni Box, our Hadron Cabin, Gorilla Legs. So many good options. But people seem to like ground build, like wheel build. So that's what I'm doing today. Another video, I'll play with something a little bit more disgusting or something. All right, guys, welcome to the fortress. I saw a little fella. Oh my god, it's Hexes. Oh no, that's not good. Why do I crash when I panic? Ugh. Man, he's got some good shots on me. Let's fall back. Yeah, I lost my... Oh man, that was horrible. I lost my third rotation speed and everything while I froze up. Oh god. Let's see if we can get some cheeky shots on him while he leaves. I don't think... Yeah, that's not good enough. Why are why are SSJ's drones still here? Go after Hexy. Oh god. Yep. Let's not do that. Let's fall back. I'm gonna get my rear gun. Yeah, that was so awful. I'm a stupid panic. <laughs> oh, Altambot. Nope. I'm not gonna deal with him. Is someone over here? Whoa! Yeah, dude. I've noticed that with this gun, you pen a lot, and it usually pops them. Maybe not some generator. Maybe just some ammo box or engine or something hold on we got someone over here yeah this is not my best match we kind of messed up in the beginning we choked as they used to say i choked <laughs> hold on let's focus on this guy 
I think he noticed me. Oh, let's go. Our guns are already sparking, so come on, rotation speed. Oh, oh god. Yeah. Man, even with the rotation buff of the, the oppressor engine, it's still kind of horrible. There we go. Yeah, we can't do anything anymore. We're done for. Oh, well, he's, 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 yeah. Uh, somehow we survived. <laughs> somehow we survived. Yeah, dude. I'm not the one who likes to call, hey, buff this, buff that. But I would like if they buff the, uh, or increase the rotation speed on this thing. That, yeah. All right, guys, welcome to the peaceful Adam. Well, it's not going to be peaceful after I'm done with it. Hold on. Uh. Okay, that was a bad shot. I even zoomed in. Oh, we got Isabella over here. Let's focus on Isabella first. Initial shot is always low, but as long uh, as long as we keep getting our targets, we should deal more damage at the more they cool down. Beautiful. So yeah, it's kind of it's kind of Yeah, I really need to do some testing, man, because that guy's hitting the target. I'm cooling the target. Well his gun is heated, but his body was cool. Oh crap, that's not good. Help me with this guy, please guys. Help me with this guy. Oh, oh, we're still good. Let's fall back for now. There we go, beautiful shot. There we go, beautiful. Nice, they actually helped you with this guy. Nice. Alright, cool. He's cooled down. We should deal more damage now. Oh, who the hell is shooting me? I don't have radar. I'm not sure where it came from, but I'm gonna back up. Oh, no. That was a good shot. One came off. Nothing came off that time. There we go, another one. Oh, both came off, hell yeah. Oh, it's Emma Bot. Oh, I'm alone, what? Oh, I thought we were doing so good. All right, guys, that was embarrassing, but let's see if we can make up for it. Let's make this one a win. Uh, bot pushed up, so let's um, take him out immediately. Oops, my bad. Oh my God, that's uh, not good. He's cooled. I wish there was a specific marker where I could like indicate for the enemy or the teammates like hey this guy's cool or this guy's heated that'll be kind of cool or focus this well we already have that it's like nobody focused any oh this guy i popped a couple of times let's see if we can pop him again no oh, hold on let's see if we can pop him again nope the second shot well he's already pretty hurt mm, that was a bad shot hold on let's try again finish off this guy first nope can't pop him this time Sorry, man. Using bot as space armor. Oh, I think I see something that I could pop. Oh no. I'll I'll take that. I. Uh... There we go. Ooh, nice. Shot off his breaker there. Back it up a little bit more. Nice. Oh god, that's not good. Oh god. Oh oh oh. Oh, 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 oh yeah. All right, guys, well, there you have it. The Narwhal Cannon is actually super fun to use, highly effective, but I did not do it justice by playing it on a ground build like this. I should probably never make my own build again and just stick to the pros <laughs> making their thing and I get to try them out. But yeah, I either should have used it on a Grita build or a Hover build. These are really fun, really effective. I don't really see anything wrong with them, like they're super OP or super weak. It's just the build was not the best. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, I hope I earned a like and a subscription to the channel. Also, for, I forgot to mention, also follow me on Twitch, guys, because tomorrow we're going to do racing and there's Twitch drops. So feel free to join, get your drops, get maybe get win a battle pass because that's going to be the price for whoever wins the races. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Peace.